Welcome to Moxie Engage Modern Integration Process using Microsoft 365. Moxie Engage integrates directly with your brokerage's Microsoft 365 account to provide your agents and support staff with consistent and convenient access to their information, while also eliminating any need to enter in the same information multiple times. Moxie Engage uses a service account as an API client to synchronize data and perform actions on behalf of individual users. Each Moxie Engage user account has an email address that corresponds to a mailbox on your Microsoft 365 account. All integration actions are performed within the context of a single given mailbox. Moxie Engage never requires administrator access to your Microsoft 365 account. So an email administrator in your company organization will need to perform some tasks before Moxie Engage can be used. In this video, we will walk you through how to set up your service account credentials and how to enable the required APIs, as well as how to authorize your service account as an API client. At the end of this video, you will be able to provide MoxieWorks with a regular user email address that we can use for testing. Let's get started. Creating a service account user. Log in to your Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Click to expand the Users section of the menu, then click on the Active Users option. The Add a User button. Enter the following basic information display name, username, and domain. At the bottom of the page are several checkboxes. Please ensure that the Automatically Create Password checkbox is cleared and then enter a password for this account. Also ensure that the Require this user to change their password when they first sign in as well as the send the password in an email upon completion checkboxes are both cleared. Click Next. Ensure the correct location is selected, then mark the radio button next to the Create User Without Product License option. A service account user does not require a product license. Click Next. Click Next again. Review your changes, then click the Finish Adding button. View the confirmation that the new user has been added, then click on the Close button. Granting Application Impersonation to the Service Account User. From your Microsoft 365 Admin Center, click on the Exchange Menu option under the Admin Center's area of the menu. If this option is not visible, you can click the Show All to expand the menu. It may take a second for the next page to load. In the Exchange Admin Center, expand the role areas of the menu and click on Admin Roles option. Click on the Add Role Group option button. Enter a name and description for the new role group, then click on the Next button. Select the Application Impersonation role, then click the Next button. Search for and add the Moxie Engage service account you created earlier, then click the Next button. Review your changes, then click the Add Role Group button. View the confirmation that the role group has been added, then click the Done button. Ensuring the Moxie Engage service account user has a password that never expires. Find Windows PowerShell and run as an administrator. At the PowerShell prompt, type install dash module space dash name space Azure AD and then press enter on your keyboard to begin installation of the Azure AD module. If the Azure AD module is already installed, a message prompt will show and you can skip to step 
7. Type Y and press Enter in your keyboard to accept the installation of the new Get provider. The Azure AD module is part of the PowerShell gallery, which is not by default configured as a trusted repository for the PowerShell. If a message is displayed about an untrusted repository, review the warning. If you wish to continue the installation, type A and press Enter on your keyboard. Wait for the next prompt. It may take a few minutes to complete the installation. At the prompt, type connect-azure-ad and press enter on your keyboard. Follow the on-screen instructions to log into your Microsoft 365 account using the login with administrative rights. The login screen may appear as a pop-up over your PowerShell window and supports multi-factor authentication. When you have logged in successfully, the connection information including your login account, environment, and domain will be displayed. At the prompt, type set dash Azure AD user space dash object ID, the service account email address that you created, space dash password policies, space Disable password expiration. Then press Enter. To verify the service account's password is set to never expire, type get dash Azure AD user space dash object ID the email address of the service account you created, space, vertical bar, space, select, dash, object, space, user principal name, comma, at sign, brackets, capital N, equals, quotation marks, password never expires, quotation marks, semicolon, capital E, equals, brackets, money sign, underscore, dot, password, policies, space, dash, contains, space, quotation marks, disable, password, expiration, quotation marks, close bracket, close bracket. You should now be able to observe the displayed confirmation that the password never expires. Registering the Moxie Engage application as an API client. Log in to your Azure Active Directory Admin Center. Click on the double chevron in the top left corner of the screen to expand the written menu. Click on the Azure Active Directory option in the menu. From the Azure Active Directory dashboard for your Microsoft 365 instance, click on the App Registrations menu option under the Manage grouping. Click on the New Registration link. Enter a name for the MoxieWorks client application, for example, Moxie Engage. Indicate the type of Microsoft 365 account that will be using Moxie Engage. In most instances, the single tenant default selection will be correct. The redirect URI settings are optional. No changes are needed. Click on the register button. Observe the notification that your application was created successfully. Locate the value next to the application client ID label. Then click on the copy to clipboard button, which is only visible when you hover over the value. Paste the value into a text file for future reference. You will need to provide this value to MoxieWorks as your client ID. Locate the value next to the directory tenant ID label, then click on the copy to clipboard button, which is only visible when you hover over the value. Paste this value into a text file for future reference. You will need to provide this value to MoxieWorks as your tenant ID number. Click on the API permissions option under the manage grouping of the menu. Click 
on the double chevron to collapse the side menu. The user.read permission for the Microsoft Graph API may be listed in the configured permissions list. This permission does not provide sufficient permissions for Moxie Engage to perform its core functionality. Click on the Add a Permission link. Click on the APIs My Organization Uses tab to change the view of the available APIs. Type Office in the search box to filter the API list. Click on the Office 365 Exchange Online API name. Click on the Delegated Permissions button. Locate the EWS item under the Select Permissions area of the screen, then click to expand the permission group. Check the box next to the ews.accessasuser.all permission under the EWS permission group. Click the Add Permissions button. Observe the confirmation message and note that the selected permission has been added to the configured permissions list. Click on the link to grant admin consent for your domain. Click on the Yes button to confirm. Observe the confirmation message and the change in permission status indicating that consent has been granted for your domain. If need be, use the chevron to reopen the menu. Click on Authentication. Scroll down to Advanced Settings and locate the Allow Public Client Flows. Use the toggle bar to switch to Yes. Click Save. Observe the confirmation message and that the change in the settings has been changed to Yes. Using the secure online form provided to you by MoxieWorks, enter the values you have saved from the registration application, including client ID, your Microsoft 365 tenant ID, the username and password for the service account you created for Moxie Engage, and a standard non-administrator user account that may be used for testing the impersonation setup. Thank you for joining our training.